Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to change your cabinets so that they are a different color or a color that you would like. So originally the this office uh, had this these cabinets over here and it's like this kind of olive green. And uh, just to brighten up the little office, we wanted to make it uh, white so that everything would be more white. This is like this, this part as well. And so uh, what I'm going to show you is how to use uh, adhesive wallpaper and we're going to go ahead and change. So we already changed a lot of things. This is the last two cabinets. It ended up looking pretty good. This is how it comes in, like a roll. And it's quite simple. It just takes a little bit of time. And it's much cheaper than switching all the cabinets to the color that you want. Now the wallpaper comes in many different colors, but uh, we decided on white. So get ready guys, here we go. Okay, so first of all, what you're gonna have to do is measure the cabinet. Look at the door and then measure the cabinet and see, compare the paper size to the cabinet itself. And then uh, you're gonna decide, well, is it long enough vertically to cover everything? Or do I have to cut it to make it fit? And it's definitely long enough this way, but it might not be long enough this way to cover the whole thing, which in this case it isn't. So uh, that's step number one. Okay, so we measured approximately how much the wallpaper we need. And now we can go on to the back and see exactly where to cut. So now we're just cutting it quite easily. And it doesn't always have to be completely straight because after you can go back and trim it more with a razor blade. So now we're gonna get ready to stick it on. You can see we have it long enough uh, vertically, but then it's a little bit too long horizontally. So now we're gonna trim it horizontally. All right, so we're getting ready to stick it on. And we're gonna also take care of these two handles without removing them. If you want, you can remove the handles from the back with the screwdriver, but we're not, uh, we don't really care too much about the little cuts. So this is how we're gonna do it, the faster way. But if this is somewhere like, you know, in your home where, a lot of people are gonna see, then you might want to go ahead and do that, to do it the longer way. And they're gonna give you this piece, and this what this piece does, this piece is to remove the air bubbles. So once it sticks on, you're gonna find that you're gonna scrape it, and we're gonna show you. So this is how you get it nice and tight onto the, the board itself, the cabinet door. So now we're gonna use the razor blade. Cut the shape of the handle. Now like I said, if you do care about making it look a little bit nicer, then you're probably gonna want to go ahead and remove the handles. So this is our quick fix way of doing it. Not the best aesthetically, but it's still good enough for us. It just depends on your how important you are at the time. Obviously, if you do want it to look nicer, you're gonna <laughs> want, to, want to remove it.
So you're gonna, it's gonna be this little line. You could go back and cover it as well. But, um, yeah, we just want to do this fast. And this is also kind of a experiment for us. We were just like thinking, oh, instead of replacing all the cabinets, we can probably, we can, we, we want to try it out actually to see if this adhesive wallpaper actually looks okay, decent or not. So next you just go ahead and go like an inch or two. See how there's like a little air bubble? Well, with this plastic piece, like a credit card, you kind of just scrape down and you just scrape out all the little air bubbles. Okay, so now we've got to the bottom. So if you want to, we're, we're trying to make a video to show you guys how to do it. If you obviously take the time, measure it out more properly, then you will have a exact, you could cut it pre, pre-cut it, and you will have a nice exact fit. So then after that, then you um, use this thing again and you push it and make it tight and it will wrap and some of the excess piece will wrap in that. So. That's how you get it to really stick on. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to smooth it out a little bit more like the top. And also on this side. Now this, we, we have no experience, we're not carpenters. We haven't done any real home in, 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 uh, innovations. And um, so I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do this. That's the main purpose of this video. Is that you, if it's not uh, something uh, that important for you, that you can just go ahead and, and do a quick replacement instead of uh, you know, spending the money to replace all the cabinets and everything.
So now we are cutting it to make it fit horizontally because it's definitely long enough and then we just have to make sure it's the same width as the cabinet. And then you can save the remaining stuff for something smaller next time. So yeah, right here's not the nicest, but then, um, like I said, just how much time you want to put into it. This is more just uh, for us like an eyesore kind of thing, let's just make it white. Okay, so just want to show you guys how to use this adhesive. As you can see from a long view, oh, I still need to scrape this up, but from a long view, it's not bad, you know? Yeah, hope that helps guys, good luck.